Iraq, you've been out of the game for a while, ready for a crash course in how a real leader takes control in this virtual jungle? Wait, wait, wait. Before we dive into today's epic adventure, I've got to give a quick shout out to Thera's Grizz Munlord. For their spot on comment on our last video, you said it like it is my friend. Sleepy? What the fuck are you doing? Don't waste viewers' time with your sleepy jokes. Now, let's get into the action and have some fun together. Well, Donald, if your driving is anything like your golf swing, we're in for quite a ride. I've driven the country. How hard can a game be? Besides, if I remember correctly, weren't you always talking about forward? Let's put that to the test. Just remember, in this game, if you take a wrong turn, there's no Congress to blame it on. Speaking of rules, the city could use a few more, like a dedicated Trump lane on every road. A lane where no one follows international agreements or protocols. It sounds chaotic. These NPCs remind me of the Democrats everywhere and always in the way. Well, if you drove more diplomatically, maybe you wouldn't crash into them. Ever thought of that? Diplomacy. I drive to win Barack, just like I did in 2016. Winning isn't about who gets to the finish line first. It's about how you drive the journey. But then again, we've seen how your journeys usually end. That car deliberately crashed into me. Must be one of yours. It's a game, Donald. Not everything's a conspiracy. And maybe he was just following the rules of the road. The rules, I make the rules, especially on this road. If it were real life, that driver would have a tweet storm coming his way. I have to admit, Donald, it's refreshing to see you finally admit. This isn't real life. And remember, not everything can be solved with a tweet. Uh, the open road feels just like Twitter without the character limit. If only there was a mute button for both. Ignore the chaos. Focus on the freedom. It's like tweeting without any restrictions. I've had enough of this. These drivers need to know who they're dealing with. Donald, remember, it's just a game. No need to make it personal. I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. No one disrespects me, virtual world or not. Ouch, that one hurt. Must be a Democrat behind that wheel. Or maybe it's just karma's way of driving its point home. Or you know, Barack driving around here reminds me of my rallies. Everyone's moving, there's chaos, but there's also energy. There's a difference between energy and mayhem. Donald, this feels more like a press conference gone wrong. Oh, uh, come on. Where's your sense of adventure? It's just a bit of fun. Well, if by fun you mean narrowly dodging incoming traffic and causing pandemonium, then sure. Look at this ride, Barack. Smooth, powerful, just like my tenure. They don't build them like this anymore. Well, sometimes it's not about the power, but how you handle the curves. Remember, it's about the journey, not just the destination. Ah, uh, a minor slip. Speaking of which, watch this grand grenade throw. Perfect arc. A perfect arc leading to a perfect mess. Always the showman, aren't you? Barack, you see that store over there? Needs a little redecorating, if you know what I mean. Donald, are you suggesting? Sometimes you need to shake things up a bit. Watch and learn. And just like that, another Trump Plaza is born. Although I think those running folks might disagree with your renovation techniques. They're just not used to innovation. It's all about making an impact, you know? There's making an impact and then there's sheer recklessness. Right now you're bordering on the ladder. Ah, uh, lighten up, Barack. We're in a virtual world. Live a little. It's one thing to have fun, Donald, but you're practically turning this into Grand Theft Trump. That's branding. Maybe I should consider a video game deal after this. The Trump Adventures. You see that group over there, Barack? Looks like they're up to no good. Time for a little surprise. The Donald, maybe we should just... Oh no, not another grenade. Oops, I might have angered them a tad too much. Hang tight. Maybe next time. Try diplomacy, now step on it. We're making this car great again, one dent at a time. How about we make it out alive, rather than making dents? With my driving, always. Just admire the art of this escape. By art, do you mean leaving a trail of chaos and sparks behind? It's all about the thrill, Barack. Ever consider going off script once in a while? Usually my off script doesn't involve getting shot at. But hey, to each his own. Listen to those sirens. They're like my personal soundtrack. Invigorating. I'd prefer jazz, but again, personal choices. Just keep us alive, all right? Always do. Besides, think of this as a virtual taste of the real world's pressures. Except in the real world. The stakes are much higher, Donald. Remember that. A parking building ahead. Might be a good spot for a quick change. Out with the old and in with the new. As long as the new sea has adults' windows and tires intact, I'm in. Look at this, Barack. It's like every vehicle was placed here just for us. 
Remember the last time you got excited about shiny things? Didn't end so well. Uh, always with the jokes. But right now, I need something fast and flashy. Diplomacy is your thing, remember. I'm all about action. Just try not to shoot the tires, okay? That's our call to action. We're making headlines again. Pretty sure this isn't the kind of attention we need. Right now, Donald? You're holding up all right there, Barack. Not too different from a press briefing, right? Uh, fewer bullets at those. But yeah, familiar chaos. Looks like we've got some fans. How's fans? More like critics. And they're not here for autographs. Uh, the sweet sound of sirens. Reminds me of the good old days when I'd make a controversial tweet. Not exactly the soundtrack I'd choose for a joyride, but to each his own. This car has some fight left in her. Like me after a media backlash. Focus, Donald. And maybe just maybe consider dodging instead of charging head on. What's life without a little risk? See that parking lot ahead? Time for a quick switcheroo. Quick and discreet. Let's not turn it into another spectacle, all right? Where's the fun in that? But all right, for the sake of old times, I'll keep it low key. There's a first time for everything, I suppose. A bit of old school magic, and there we go. The things you remember, yet you forget where you put the nuclear codes. Feel that engine purr, Brock. That's the sound of freedom. It's also the sound alerting everyone in a five mile radius. Subtlety isn't your strong suit, is it? You focus too much on the little details. Embrace the bigger picture, like how this baby handles the open road. I'm just hoping it handles better than your diplomatic strategies. Time for a big exit. Donald, at least give me a heads up before you light the fuse. Where's the fun in that? That's how you clear traffic. Or cause a traffic jam. But sure, we've got the road to ourselves now. Hold on, we're in for a wild ride. I think we've been on one since you started driving. Sometimes, Barack, you've got to take the road less just traveled, even if it's coming straight at you. Isn't that just a metaphor? Not an actual driving tip, Donald? You ever think politics would be easier than this? Every day, Donald, every, every single day. Let's give them a show they won't forget, shall we? We always had a flair for the dramatic, but this is a bit over the top, even for you. Got that officer on the left? And yeah, I see him. But maybe we can avoid more conflict? I won't go down without a fight, Barack. That's evident. But maybe it's time to find a strategy beyond firepower. Well, that's how you stand your ground. Or escalate things unnecessarily. But who's keeping track? They want a chase? I'll give them a chase. Donald, remember when I said we need to find common ground with our adversaries? I didn't mean on the asphalt. These guys are relentless. Feels like my last year in office all over again. At least back then, they weren't armed with patrol cars. Stay focused, Donald. Every bump and crash, it's like they're giving me a standing ovation. Well, if you'd stop treating this car like a bumper car, maybe we'd have fewer applause breaks. There's a parking lot ahead. We can shake them off there. Time to outsmart them. Or at least outdrive them. Just get us there in one piece. Barack, remember the good old days when our biggest concerns were tweets and press briefings? Oh, I remember. And I'd gladly take a press briefing over this chase. This place looks like a gold mine for vehicles. Time for an upgrade. That's not shopping, Donald. Just pick something fast and inconspicuous. This one. It's got style strength, kind of like me. Just hope it has a better fuel efficiency than your last tenure. All right, this one's purring like a kitten. Upwards and onwards. Just keep it under control, okay? We've drawn enough attention already. Going up, higher floors, fewer problems. Let's just hope there's a way out from the top. Barack, over here, behind this car. We need some cover. I never pictured this when they said post-presidential adventures. That sedan over there looks fast and just my style. Let's swap our ride. Got it. Jump in, let's head for the roof. I've got a plan. Oh, the roof? Donald, what are you thinking? Just trust me on this. It's going to be huge. I've heard that one before. Just drive. See that ramp up ahead? It's our ticket out. You're not seriously thinking of jumping that, are you? It's a video game. Barack, we can do anything. I've seen you play golf, Donald. Your idea of anything concerns me. Low blow. But watch and learn, my friend. We're about to fly. I have a feeling this won't end well. Oh, come on. Have a little faith. Ah. Did you feel that rush, Barack? Like signing an executive order on a Monday morning? Or like the rush of hoping the parachute deploys. But you stuck the landing, I'll give you that. There's an even bigger ramp up ahead. 
Time to show you how high we can really go. Donald, maybe we should rethink this. We've already defied gravity once. Rethink? That's not in my playbook. Besides, bigger is always better. All right, here we go. Maximum acceleration. That did not go as planned. Minor setback. The car just needs a little persuasion. Looks like we've been trump teased by gravity. What's the plan now? Back on the road. We'll find another way to make our mark. Hopefully without any more aerial adventures. My heart can't take much more. Look at that Hummer, Barack. Now that's a vehicle built for a president. Given our current situation, maybe something less conspicuous would be wise? Nonsense. Bigger is always better. Just wait and see. I've seen plenty, Donald. But all right, your show. Are you really going to try that ramp again? In a Hummer, Barack. It's a completely different ball game. Hold on to your seat. Oh boy, here we go again. Ooh, look at us soaring like an eagle. Or like a lead balloon. Hope you've got a plan for the landing, Donald. Just enjoy the view, Barack. This is freedom. Freedom. Feels more like free fall to me. Did you see that? We must have been at least 50 feet in the air. I think I left my stomach back on that rooftop. But Donald, you need to land these things properly. Details, details. It was still spectacular. Spectacularly dangerous. You mean? I don't know how many more of these stunts I can take. That G-Wagon, now that's a ride with style. Be careful, Donald. Looks like it's already occupied. Just a minor inconvenience. Donald, need some assistance? I've got this. Always a scene with you, isn't it? All in a day's work, Barack. All right, let's give this another shot. I've always believed in second chances. Third, actually. But who's counting? Just need the right angle, and here we go. Wait, maybe we should rethink this. No time. Brace yourself. Look at that, Brock. Flying high, soaring above the rest, just like the good old days. More like free falling with style. Let's just hope we stick the landing this time. Huh? Maybe the third time isn't always the charm. I think maybe next time we skip the ramp altogether. Where's the fun in that? Barack, I built skyscrapers. A little ramp won't defeat me. Yes, but those skyscrapers had engineers behind them. This is just you. Just watch. This time it's going to be perfect. Well, that went as expected. Minor hiccup. All part of the plan. Oh, there's a plan. Since when? Always a plan. Just need to improvise sometimes. What's life without a little excitement? This is just like navigating Congress. So crashing into things head on without a clear path. It's all about pushing through, Barack. Or maybe not getting into such situations to start with. Ever think of that? Shortcut time. This grass has my name on it. More like trouble written all over it. A little off-roading never hurt anyone. Watch this. Those aren't speed bumps, Donald. They're concrete pillars. Maneuvering challenges just have to align the angles right. Or, you know, not crash into them in the first place. That's what brakes are for. And I'm using them selectively. I've noticed. And I think those pillars have too. Aha, uh -huh. a parking lot. Perfect place to blend in and lay low for a moment. You mean a place where we change cars because chaos and jump off a building. Yeah, real low key. Barack, you always have to see the silver lining. Here we have options. And by options, you mean more cars to potentially wreck? You've got to break a few eggs to make an omelet. I just hope we're not the eggs in that analogy. Where's the fun in that? This was memorable. Bumbable. Sure, repeatable. Let's not. 